Sound debt is now reaching a record. I couldn't believe this when I heard it. A trillion bucks, one trillion dollars. Nearly 9% of that bo uh, uh, all those dollars are in default right now. That's why my next guest is worried this could be the next bailout hitting the books. Robert Enlow is CEO of the Friedman Foundation for Educational Choice, joins her right now. Um, boy, that's just money looking to, to just burn up, isn't it? It's totally looking to burn up. It's not about whether there's a bubble. It's about how big this bubble is going to get and when it will burst. Look, student debt is up. Student defaults are up. The government borrowing is na they've nationalized borrowing. Your tuition is up. Children are graduating more debt and younger and more unemployed than ever. This is a dangerous cocktail and we should be worried. I was surprised, and I don't know if this statistic is, is accurate, Robert, that the student loan debt eclipses that of credit card debt. Absolutely. And in fact, while credit card debt has gone down in the last few years because people are more personally responsible for their, their debt, student loan debt has increased. And why is that? Because in the health care reconciliation bill, the president nationalized our student loan industry. Milton Friedman said it best when he said, when you spend someone else's money on someone else, you don't care how much you spend and what you spend it on. I worry about that, too, because there's, more, there's less of a stigma attached to defaulting on anything these days, by the way. Um, so for a lot of students, many of them in this Occupy Wall Street crowd, uh, they're probably figuring, well, Wall Street got the big bailout. Um, I want mine too. In other words, are these prior rescues actually fostering this mentality that, hey, go ahead, walk away? Well, absolutely. I mean, that's why default rates are up and why people want their uh, loans forgiven. But the fact is, is the taxpayer in the economy is the one who's in trouble here if we keep going down this road. Just think about what happens if you forgive all these student loans. People delay purchases in their homes. They delay cars. People in their 30s and 40s end up having debt the size of their mortgage. You know, no personal responsibility means no, no long-term economic uh, growth. You know what I worry about, too, is it just feeds on itself. We're looking for another mortgage rescue program, maybe widening to many more eligible possibilities, even though the record on this is, is shabby at best. Now I guess we'll consider something akin to that uh, the president is only, in his vaguest way, hinted um, for educational loans. Um, this is a runaway train. Well, it's a huge runaway train, and that's what happens when you're spending taxpayer money and, and you're not caring about the personal responsibility. Right. It's not just student loans either. Think about this. It's a, what I'm calling it. It's an education bubble. So K-12 spending has been increasing dramatically since the 70s. And let's not forget the huge unfunded teacher pension liability. Now we have this huge student loan debt. We've got a huge education bubble that's going to drag states and the federal government down with it. Amazing. We'll watch. Robert, thank you very much. Robert Unlow, the uh, Friedman Foundation for Educational Choice. Thanks you for having me. You've been warned. You've been warned. Meanwhile, the president's